Weed Spot 7 was this weekend, and with it, the last hurrah of all Steve mains within the states of Kansas and Missouri. At least, for the foreseeable future. Today, I'll be going over the ultimate bracket for this tournament, with 223 entrants. I'll be going over upsets, notable set wins, and some behind-the-scenes info of someone who was actually at the scene myself when a lot of this stuff went down. Let's get into it. There were 8 pools for this tournament, with about 28 people per pool. Pool A and A2 had the most upsets of the tournament, with Rock Narad, a KC Little Mac player, and the 80th seed, pulling off upsets against both Zeton X from SoCon, who is the 49th seed, and Regulating Mofo from Nebraska, who was the 32nd seed in the loser's bracket. On the topic of Regulating Mofo, he was only in loser's bracket because he had been upset in winners by Radiant Dawn 57, the 97th seed. A notable upset in this pool was Justin23, local Yoshi Enjoyer, and the 16th seed, falling to Suspect, a Michigan local. While this was only a small upset, it was one that I heard the most about while I was at the venue. Even though Justin23 was upset, he still made it out of the pool on loser's side. Morley, the up-and-coming snake main, also made it out of the pool loser's side, while winner's side was reserved for Onan and Suspect. Pool A2, while it had less upsets, certainly had bigger ones. Dr. Tan, who plays Sephiroth and was the 98th seed, beat MJ Jesus, a local Aegis main who was the 31st seed. Dr. Tan then went on to beat Dr. Kakenstein, who we'll discuss later, before losing to Apollo Kage. The other major upset in this pool came from when Crow Z, the 18th seed, was double eliminated by Very Freezer, the 47th seed, and MJ Jesus, the 31st. The loser's bracket actually gets slightly crazier from there, as MJ Jesus won the run back versus Dr. Tan to get into top 32, and Dr. Kakenstein, who was the 95th seed and who mains Bowser Jr., beat Very Freezer to make it into top 32. Interestingly enough, Dr. Kakenstein would go on to DQ from top 32, and to be frank, I really have no clue why. Let me know if you know. The others who got out of top 32 in this bracket were MJ Jesus, Wisdom, and Apollo Kage. Now, we're going to have to breeze through these other pools if we're going to get the top 32 before midnight, so relatively quickly. Pool B1 saw Loaf, Henry Luma, Pika, and Bruce Forme de Blanco all make it to top 32, with no major upsets. Pool B2 similarly saw Epic Gabriel, Welfare Pickles, Player One, and Ezeo make it to top 32, with no major upsets. Pool B3 saw Scar, Toffee, Spoon, and Gamer Dog make it to top 32 with some notable upsets. Spoon, who actually plays Steve funnily enough and is one of the homies, shout out, shout out, was the 93rd seed, but went on to beat JK Sonic, the 36th seed, and Tiger Nope, the 45th, to make it out of top 32. To make it out of top 32, Gamer Dog, the 29th seed, fought Globo, the 20th seed, and won with the 2 1. As a side note, Gamer Dog is a Rob main, and Globo is a Game and Watch main, and Gamer Dog still pulled off the upset in that matchup. Kinda cracked. Pool C1 saw Deathspade, PEZ, MD, and Barnabas make it to top 32. Notable upsets include Dark Doger's win over Hubba Bubba, and Michigan player Adorable Knight being double eliminated by KC Locals Isaiah, who you may know as Pac-Man Player 22, and Onua, who was running a legitimately awesome art booth at the tourney and still almost made it to top 32. Talk about multitasking. Pool C2 saw Skittles, Boo Bear, the Six Master, and Ziga make it out of the top 32 with no major upsets. Boo Bear actually won doubles earlier in the day with his teammate Onan, and Ziga made third place in doubles with his teammate Apollo Kage. Pool C3, our final pool, saw Rocky, Big Swifty, Zen, and Check Your Gmail make it into top 32 with no major upsets. And now we're on to top 32. Anyone entering top 32 from winners had to win two sets to make it into top 8 winners, and anyone entering top 32 from losers had to win four. Let's go over the sets here, and any notable upsets or behind the scenes details I have for you. First of all, Onan, the top seed of the tourney, swept through top 32, beating both of his opponents, Suspect and Rocky, both in 3-0s. And then, in what may be the most tragic moment of the entire tournament for me, Scar beat Toffee in a 3-2 set. I call this tragic because Toffee mistakenly believed that the set was best of three, and when he went up to one, he popped off. Dead. Yeah, yeah, I'm so, yep. Yep, yep. Only to be informed that it was a best of five, and then go on to lose the set. Honestly, I am so heartbroken about that. I will not lie. 
Scar went on to lose to Loaf in their set, and uh, <laughs> just look at this clip. And while you're back though, not really a kill throw for sure, but oh no. After Apollo Kage beat Wisdom and Skittles beat Boo Bear, the two of them met for a top 8 winner's qualifier, and Skittles ended up beating Apollo Kage 3-0. It was kind of a wash, and Apollo Kage went onto Twitter to admit that he didn't quite know what he was doing in the matchup, but that he had an idea and promised he'd be back stronger. My goat. Next, Epic Gabriel ended up beating Death Spade in a Game 5 set in what I personally would call an upset, but apparently it wasn't. This set was another heartbreaker for me personally because I love Deathspade. Looking at the losers bracket, Justin23 was beaten in a game 5 set by MJ Jesus, much to the dismay of all Yoshi lovers. Other notable upsets include Pika's win over Wisdom and Player 1's win over Big Swifty. On a side note, Player 1 kinda went on a big run this tournament for being the 30th seed. Lots of upsets from this Georgia Diddy Kong. MD also ended up beating Suspect, and the Sixth Master ended up beating Toffee, both in Game 5 sets. Zen also defeated Welfare Pickles in a 3-1. Pika, who we discussed earlier, and the 31st seed, also ended up beating Boo Bear. Pika is kind of the other player of this tournament who went on an insane run this weekend, but they would go on to lose to Rocky for the Top 8 qualifier. The three other players who made it into Top 8 from Loser's side were Scar, Despade, and Apollo Kage. And now we're on to top 8. Interestingly, for all the talk of upsets, everyone who made it to the top 8 were the top 8 seeds. Funny how life works, huh? Skittles started off top 8 with an upset win over Epic Gabriel in a 3-1 set. Skittles was the 7th seed, while Epic Gabriel was the 3rd seed for the event. And this set actually marks the end of all upsets for this bracket. And what a bang to end off on. On the other side of Winner's Semis, Onan defeated Loaf before going on to defeat Skittles in Winner's Finals in a decisive 3-0. On the loser's side of things, Scar defeated Rocky in a 3-0 and Apollo Kage defeated Despade in a 3-1. Interestingly, Despade's loss here means that Loaf qualified for a spot in the Midwest Ultimate Invitational, being the highest placing eligible candidate. Let me know if I should make a video about that when it happens, I really want to. Apollo Kage went ended up beating Loaf, and Epic Gabriel ended up beating Scar, causing the two of them to meet, where Apollo Kage defeated him 3-1. And then we move on to Loser's Finals, the run back between Skittles and Apollo Kage. Now, full confession, I actually thought Apollo Kage would go Steve for this set. I mean, Skittles did just 3-0 Apollo Kage's snake, and lost just as fast to Onan Steve. I thought the Steve counterpick from Apollo Kage was the surefire way to victory. And even though AK promised that he had the answer to the matchup, I wasn't sure about him figuring it out so quickly. But I forgot one crucial thing. Apollo Kage. Kage defeated Skittles in a Game 5 set and went on to Grands to fight Onan. And guys, gals, my non-binary pals, listen here. When I tell you that this set was insane, I mean it was insane. I highly recommend you go and watch this set because it may be in my top 5 ultimate sets ever played. It was a Game 10 set. A long, hard slug of back and forth carnage from both players. But someone had to win, and someone indeed did. Snake is strong, but he's not going to be able to take too much more for set here pretty soon. Okay, Anvil, great stuff to hold. And the pop off. And we get the pop off from Auden holding on. Game 10 Grand Finals to take Sweet Spot 7. Onan defeated Apollo Kage by the skin of his teeth and popped off. Now, you guys couldn't see this from the player cam, but I was sitting in the second row on Onan's side when this happened. He jumped high into the air and knocked the chair he was sitting on over. Guys, Onan popped off for this Kansas Regional when he didn't even do that for winning Super Smash Con. Like, what? Either way, the commentators decided to call Onan over for the post-game interview when... Oh, wait. 
What what is that? You didn't need the tech, man. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's just throwing his twin brother. What the heck? So uh yeah. That's me. Right there. Impersonating Onan on stage. Look, I had to, okay? We look so similar. How was I not gonna do this at some point? But that was the entirety of Sweet Spot 7. Funnily enough, this was the last ever tournament where Steve would be legal in the state of Kansas or the state of Missouri. Now that it's over and Onan won with Steve, Steve is fully banned in these states with no exceptions. And fully revealing my bias here, I wanted Onan to win this event. Don't get me wrong, I love Apollo Kage, and he's honestly one of my favorite players of all time, but there was just something so fitting about Onan winning this event with Steve, the last one where he'd be playable. It was almost like poetry. Regardless on how you feel about Steve, Onan is an incredibly talented player, and honestly such a cool and nice person, especially after actually meeting him this weekend. And to everyone in Twitch chat of this stream calling Onan trash, or booing when he won, or insulting him because he had colored nails, or because Onan had they pronouns on stream, or even wishing for Onan to be murdered in real life because of Minecraft Steve, I have only one thing to say to people like that. I hope Onan wins the next Super Smash Con 2 with Ike, or Rob, or Pac-Man, or whatever character he picks up next. Anyways, I've been Mr. Mice, and thank you very much for watching my video. If you liked it, consider subscribing or following my Twitch. Hopefully I will have released this video before 2pm CST, which is when I go live every single day. And I'll be playing Smash on my stream today, so come tune in and say hi! Either way, I hope you guys have a great day, and remember, it's just a game. It's not that serious, guys. Let's all just relax and try to enjoy the ride, okay?